most common baseline test that I like to use for swimming is a 1,000 meter or yard time trial. The reason I like to use that is because if you swim that type of distance at your maximum effort that you have for that day, whether it's beginning of the season, mid-season, or end of season, it not only provides a good baseline assessment of where you're at from a time standpoint and a pace standpoint, but you can set your paces based on that time trial. So if you swim a thousand meters or yards in 20 minutes, divide that by 10, and your threshold pace or T pace is two minutes per hundred. From that T pace, you can set your other zones, one, two, three, four is your T pace, and five, I use a five zone scale system for the training plans that I create. You can set your training paces so when you go to the pool and swim, you're not just swimming aimlessly at a certain pace, but you can really dial in your paces and do the proper recovery, pace workouts, endurance pace, tempo pace, threshold, and speed pace workouts based on that one time trial assessment. If you're very new to swimming and you're not able to actually swim a 1K time trial, try to do a 500. Even if you're stopping and going during your time trial and you have to stop and rest at any wall, again, it's baseline. It's giving you an assessment for where you're at now before you start your training plan so you can d develop the proper training plan swim prescription based on your assessment. If you can only do 100 without stopping, maybe you can only do a 25 without stopping. It's still important to get some baseline so you have an idea of training zones that you can set in the future when you're able to do that time trial. If you have any questions um, about your swimming, you can send me a swim video for analysis. I can send you some drills and advice feedback for your technique limiter, again, so you can get the right swim prescription training plan for you, and I hope you make it a great day.